Hey, today we're making a BHU bar copycat. And this is probably the easiest portable little energy bar type snack. And it also has keto chow in it. So I am super excited. Hey, my name is Olivia Wiles and this is my channel where I share easy keto recipes made for real life. What can I say about these bars? They are super delicious, super amazing, super awesome. And the best thing is, is only really two steps to this process, which I love. I wish there was one step. <laughs> there could be one step. You could just eat it out of the bowl. How do we make a copycat of the BHU bar that you see in the grocery store? that tastes freaking amazing on its own. I mean, so you could just go to the grocery store and buy the BHU bar. I'm not an affiliate of BHU, but they do have some tasty bars. And I believe their bars are made with allulose, which does not affect your blood sugar. That's another sweetener that I bake with a lot. So check out the BHU bars in your, it's actually in the refrigerated section, like near the eggs so i made this bar sort of like on a whim like can i make can i make my own because what if i run out and i don't know how to use instacart anymore i could make my own so i decided to make my own it has three, five ingredients i know i'm sorry anyways okay so the five ingredients we're going to be using today the first ingredient is cashew butter now i've had a couple of comments about being allergic to cashew butter i don't think it matters what nut butter or seed butter that you use i just chose cashew butter because the taste so resembles the bhu bars because i think they do use cashews i got some cashew butter from the grocery store and I have been talking a lot about different nut butters and how they should only have one ingredient. And this is so serious. So many nut butters on the shelf. If they don't have the natural oils, when you pick it up and do this, blah, 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 I don't recommend them because normally they're packed with some hidden sugars. You can buy it if it's a budget thing um, because these 100% ones tend to be more expensive, which makes no sense. The idea is to not have those added sugars because we wanna keep the carbs low, right? Right. I got some grocery store cashew butter. It is the grocery store's brand, their organic brand. So the there's two ingredients in the cashew butter. There's organic dry roasted cashews and organic high olic, am I saying that right? Sunflower oil. So it's got some extra oil in there. Maybe cashews don't have like as much natural oil, maybe? I don't know. And this also says contains cashews. I love it. The second ingredient is going to be sugar-free maple syrup. You could also use sugar-free honey. Sugar-free maple syrup is a staple in keto baking world, and it's pretty readily accessible now at the grocery store. I actually had to pick up some in a pinch. I'm not super in love with the ingredients, but uh, we are not gonna get sciencey or diety or anything like this on this channel. We are all about real life and what we can fit in our real life, right? I like to use Lakanto's sugar-free maple syrup in a lot of my recipes. I am an affiliate of Lakanto. I've been working with them for years. I've never had a complaint about any of their products they all taste like whatever is on the packaging they have a range of different products now it used to be just uh, keto baking sugars and now they've expanded they are mostly a monk fruit erythritol blend in their products and they have everything from chocolate bark to ketchup to little truffles they're amazing so the link to Lakanto is in the description check them out if you have not experienced the keto baking world the next ingredient is going to be keto chow or you can use any protein powder of choice so don't worry if you don't have keto chow I am also an affiliate of keto chow and I have also been working with them for years and they are another company that is super transparent super awesome family oriented they have meal replacement shake specifically designed for keto they have all the vitamins all the minerals keto chow has a bazillion flavors from apple pie to key lime pie 
pie, pumpkin spice caramel, gingerbread, eggnog. Why am I only listing off holiday flavors? Maybe it's because they're amazing. With baking, I typically stick to snickerdoodle or the vanilla. Those are neutral baking flavors and they taste amazing. That's going to be the third ingredient is keto chow. And I use the snickerdoodle keto chow for this recipe. The fourth ingredient is coconut flour. And you could probably sub some almond flour in there. However, I don't recommend it just because I haven't tested it. And usually almond flour, you need to have more almond flour than you would with coconut flour. It's kind of like a, I want to say it's a one to four ratio. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Okay. The fifth ingredient and the most important ingredient is going to be sugar-free chocolate chips. And you can pick some of those up in the grocery store or you can get them from Lakanto. I've compared a few different brands of chocolate chips and I think theirs is the most chocolate chippy. Yeah. So to make the BHU bar copycat, we're going to combine in a medium mixing bowl, one cup of cashew butter, three tablespoons sugar-free maple syrup, one packet or one scoop of snickerdoodle keto chow, or the protein powder of your choice. Then one fourth cup coconut flour, and finally one fourth cup sugar-free chocolate chips. At this point, you could pretty much add anything else you want. Maybe some slivered almonds but again keep in mind that's gonna up the carb count I only added the sugar-free chocolate chips kind of for some texture so if you want to keep it low like you don't need the chocolate chips it's sort of it's optional so mix all of the ingredients in the medium mixing bowl until a dough forms. And I have this awesome little pan that looks like bars and it's more like a brownie pan or like a mini loaf pan. They, it's amazing for these bars. You kind of press them in there and then you can pop them out and you are going to want to store these in the fridge. Most keto baked goods do the best in the fridge or the freezer, just so they hold together better in the fridge or the freezer. And personally, I like cold baked goods. <laughs> Anyways, am I still recording? Just making sure. 